Welcome to another video. In this video, I want to talk about what system paths is, right? It is super important thing to know, but very easy to understand. And it's very common, it will come up in path, right? A lot of times you're going to hear, check your paths, add it to your paths, make sure it's in the paths, right? That those terms come up a lot. And most of the time, when you're working on programming related things, when you're installing stuff and trying to run things, you're going to run a lot of issues if you don't understand paths. And a lot of times, most of the issues can be resolved just by simply understanding what path is. And in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you what it is and now it's how it's used. My name is Admas, Admas Kenfu from SuperSQA.com. And I help people learn automation or break into IT field by learning QA automation, software testing. I have a lot of resources for people to break into the IT field and go ahead and check out my website to learn more. All right, so back to the topic of PATH, P-A-T-H. My accent make me sound different than PATH, but it is PATH, that's what I'm saying. So it is technically a variable that is set on a system level, and it's a list of directories, all right? Stay with me, We're going to, I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So on a Mac, I'm gonna show you both on a Mac and a Windows because the concept is exactly the same. The way, the way you deal with it is different, but what it is, is pretty much the same thing. So like I said, it is a variable, so we can print it out. We can just, you know, Mac or on any Unix based system, you can do ENV to get all the variables, the environment variables listed out. On a Windows, you can do set, SET, or lowercase to get all the variables uh, printed out. So now on when you print out all the variables, there is one particular variable we want to talk about in this video, which is PATH, P-A-T-H. All right, let me clear this and only print out the paths clear all right so i'm going to echo echo in shell is basically like print if you're used to python so i'm going to print out paths the variable paths and in unix systems dollar sign is how you start a variable so as you can see when i print out paths it is a list of directories separated by columns columns so you can see this this is one directory this is another directory. This is another directory. This whole thing is just a list of directories separated by columns, all right? So what this is, is whenever you're trying to run a program, any kind of program, it can be Python, it can be Java, it can be any kind of program, the system is going to look for executable file, right? That program needs to have some executable, something to be executed at the program itself. And the list of these directories is where the system is going to look for it, right? So as, when I say Python, right now, if I want to run Python, it's going to come in the first directory, look for Python if it's there, right? In this case, this is a MySQL one, so it's not going to find it. Then it's going to come into here. Hmm, I might find it. If it finds it, it's going to use that. Then it's, if, it, if it can't, it's going to go check here. If it can't, it's going to go come and check here. If it, You know, you get the point, right? It keeps checking on every for every directory. And if you can't find it, you get a message saying, hey, unknown. So like if I, if I type in ABC right now, because now the system thinks ABC is a program. The first thing you always write is a command, right? It's a program. So command not found, ABC, because ABC is not found anywhere in here. But if I type Python, obviously it's going to tell me where it is, right? And uh, there's a command I can show you. It's called which on a Unix-based system to find where it is. So if I do which Python, it's going to tell me the directory where it's installed in. And this directory is actually in here. If I do which Python 3, it's going to go look for Python 3, and it's going to find it in user bin. As you can see, there is user bin is part, uh, no, this one is it's bin. There is user bin is part of the list. It found it there, so it's going to show me there. If I was to say, if I want to know all instances, when you do which, it's going to give you the first one it finds, right? In the in this path, the first one it finds, it will give it to you. But if you do dash A, I don't know why my keyboard is being slow. If you do dash A, it will show you all of them. I only have one, so it's only showing me one. The same thing if I do Python. Uh, it's actually, I actually have two different instances of Python 2 on my machine. All right. So let's talk about the same exact thing on a Windows. The main thing is paths is a list of directories. When you want to run a, syst uh, a program, it needs to exist on those in, in one of those directories. The system is going to look into there. A lot of times when you install Python, especially on a Windows, and when you're trying to run it, it says, I can't find it. Even though you know for sure you've installed it. That means wherever you installed it, whatever directory that application is installed in is not part of the path and you will have to add that directory into the path and i'm going to show you how to do that coming soon 
going back to the windows right i, I typed in set C cls will clear it so if i type in set it, it prints out all the uh the prim the variables right so somewhere in here there there has to be paths even though it seems like i cannot see it p a t h i see a list of yeah there you go you see this this is paths but let's print it by itself it clears the screen echo person sign is windows so when you whenever you want to print a, a variable on a unix system with dollar sign on windows is percent pass and close it with a percent okay now for this particular system i'm in my windows 10 on a virtual machine this is the path this is a list of directories just like you saw on the mac there is a list of directories separated by semicolon that's a different that's different right over there on the mac was colon here is semicolon but the concept is the same. Whenever you're trying to run a program, the system is going to go look for that program in these folders. It's going to go one by one, starting from the first one, right? It's going to look for the first one, can't find it, keeps going until it finds it, right? That's what that's what it is. And the command to find a program to see if a program is in a path or not, the, the, we used which in in uh, Mac or Unix, right? In here and Windows is where. So if I do where Python, it's going to show me all the instances of python so it found it in my in my pythons program file my pythons program file python 10 this one is actually something something totally unrelated but if you had more instances of python installed and that that path it is in here it will find it if you when you're installing python i use i i use python as an example because i'm a python guy and i use python all day every day and uh most of my students their questions is really related, related to python and then a lot of times they have issues installing and particularly on windows when you install python there's an option at the bottom side that says add to path so you have to select that if you don't select that it will install python but wherever it's installed that path that folder is not going to be part of the path so you have to manually go and add it yourself which i'm going to show you how to do that so now we understand what path is and what it's used for so now let's go look at how to modify it right let's do it on windows because it's easier to understand and to visualize. Let's, I mean, let's do it first on Windows. We're gonna do it on a Mac. So on Windows, the first, the best thing I recommend is just go through the search and search for paths or system paths. And you're gonna get edit the system environment variables. Remember what I said at, right when I started this video? It is just a variable. It's a system variable that just have a list of directories and the variable name is path. So I'm gonna click on this and you're gonna get this warning depending on how the system is set up and uh, it's supposed to yeah it opened this i don't know why i minimized it so i know it's a little hard to see uh, but at the bottom there is environment variable that's why we're trying to edit path is an environment variable so click on environment variable and there is two sections this one of it is for the user if you want to set it up just for your user whoever you logged in as or for the entire system uh, I always do it for the entire system for the most part and usually it's just me that's logging in so here these are the list of variables and path is one of them so what we want to do is we want to edit it edit and here it actually puts it in a nice format listing out all the directories right Th those are the same directories we just saw here so all you do is add new and start typing give it the C whatever then my, my new folder okay i'm just going to just name it that and i'm going to click okay and i'm going to click okay now and i'm going to click okay now that folder i just named i mean it's, it has to exist to be meaningful i just made it up now that is part of the path so if i was to print it here i'm actually not sure if it will show up without actually restarting the 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 cmd so i'm going to print out path and i'm going to see if uh, my my new folder right that's what i called it i don't believe it is here there is it says new here uh, there, there oh let me see yeah it, it does it doesn't find it so i need to open a new one let me close this because when you open an, uh, this window you already got all the settings and set it up so you have to open a new one you have to remember that okay when you make changes uh, and you don't see your changes you, you have to remember you need to open a new uh, a new terminal that is, is true for max as well so now if i do echo percent path 
and I search for my my new folder is part of the path, right? Just like I talked about now is part of the path. Whatever program I add into here, when I try to find it, the system will find it. With a Mac, it's a little bit different on how you add it. You just have to modify the path. So if I do clear and if I do ls, usually you have, uh, not ls, ls-la, usually you have the hidden file. So anything that starts with a dot is a hidden file. So I'm using Z shell. So there is this RC file and this profile file. If you're using bash, you're going to have bash RC and bash profile. So let's open this file and I'm going to do vim open that file. Uh, why didn't I'm just going to do Z profile. All right. Now I opened it. So what you do on a Mac is basically you're setting the same variable with a different value. Remember, I told you path uh, is a variable. So I'm just setting the variable with different values. So here, just, so just look at this example. I'm doing export. Export is like set. When you set a variable, you do export on a Linux and you do set set lowercase on a Windows. So I'm setting a new variable called path, the same name. And I'm taking the value of the old variable, which is path, right? And I'm adding semicolon and I'm adding a new directory. So I'm going to add my dir, let me just name it two so you can see the difference, right? So what I did is I export a new variable path, which takes the old value and add more stuff to it, right? At the end of it. And now I'm going to save it and quit. And I need to open a new terminal for this to happen. What happened is the profile file that I just modified, whenever I open a new terminal, that file gets executed. So for now, if I echo path, I should see whatever I added in my path. So that's how you modify the path. So the whole point of this video is to actually explain to you what path is and what you really need to know what it is not really how to change it. Maybe I need to get, create a more detailed video on how to how to modify it, but I actually just did it. I went through it. So the main point, what you have to get from here is you install something and the system says, I can't find it. it says, oh, it's not installed. What you have to think about is, is it in the system path? That's what you have to think about and that's what you have to check, okay? That is really the whole point of this video. That's really what I want you to get from it. You install something you, you and the system says you can't find it. Think in your head, how about path? Is it in the path? Do I need to modify the path? Do I need to add it to the path? Okay. And every time, if you add the path in a terminal window like this and, and not in the file, every time you open a new terminal, everything gets reset as brand new. Okay. So those are the main points I want to make in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and like the video. It would help me a lot. And subscribe to once if you want to see more videos like this. I, I make a lot of uh, beginner friendly automation programming related uh, videos and please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I'll see you soon.